Oh no 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 no! So deep in here. <laughs> this is like literally a river. Oh no no! Which way should we go? Well, let's go this I think way. we should go that way. <laughs> huh? Oh, it smells of horses. Daffodils! Yay! <laughs> so windy today. Yay! Look at his paw prints. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no 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 no! Oh! I think we just like stacked. We're just coming out to the main road. <laughs> and I think that this path is uh, probably quite a popular one, <laughs> hence it's really boggy and full of footprints. Ah. Oh my god, look how long my hair is. <laughs> Becky and Joss are giving uh, Digby a clean in that massive puddle that we went in first thing this morning. Um, we parked further up the road, so I've come to get the car. I'm gonna drive down and meet them. We decided that we're gonna start driving further afield, find some new dog walks. We're quite lucky though, because we live in an area um, where we're quite far out in the countryside. So there's a lot of dog walks around here, lots of footpaths, lots of bridleways. Um, so yeah, just kind of exploring the area a bit more. It's the middle of March though, so only a couple of weeks to go until spring really kicks off and then we get the bluebells, we get all the trees coming back to life again. Uh, temperatures pick up a little bit, it's not too bad today. Um, but yeah, looking forward to spring um, and finding more dog walks. Back into puddles. <laughs> Do you hear it? Yeah. Ow. Do you want me to like lift it up or something? Oh. If you pull out the it. bed. Oh, you got it. Oh my God. That's gonna like change our lives. How did it even get under there? We haven't had this remote so for like under. months because we couldn't find it and it was under the sofa. We're having a little bit of a cleaning frenzy. Well, I normally clean the bathroom anyway every Saturday morning. Um, I did used to do it on Friday afternoons, but I don't have a good time anymore. But Becky's decided to have a bit of a clean as well. All behind the sofa, that was filthy. Because where Digby like stands on the back of the sofa, it gets like really dirty under there. But lots of hoovering, tidying, cleaning out some cupboards. Oh. Washing machine's quite dirty. But oh. yeah, kind of attack it for a couple of hours and then it's done. And then the whole house is done. Apart from upstairs, I'll do that to you, but... <laughs> Nothing like a clean bathroom. Love it. I would do it more often if I could be bothered, but once a week's enough for me. Lovely. Why are you melting chocolate, Becky? Um, because we're making something with chocolate in it. Making something with chocolate in it. <laughs> so we've got three, um, like, half-eaten cereals there. We've got rice pops from the other week. See if they're stale. Um, cornflakes. And are these honey cornflakes? No, I think they'll be fine. And we're going to mix them all together in this Halloween bowl that we bought for Halloween last year. I'm not going to mix them all together. That'll be too much and not enough chocolate. Oh, okay, well, yeah, but we're gonna like combine the three different types and have like a mix and match chocolate cake surprise. I've also got to take the car in for its annual MOT at half past two, which is in two hours and 15 minutes. Um, basically, in this country, I don't know if it's the same everywhere, every year if you have a car, you have to take it in to have like a safety test. Um, and it will either pass or it will fail. They do like seat belts, brakes, um, lights, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, hopefully it will pass and not need to have anything expensive done to it. Um, I don't think it will, because I know the brakes are fine, the tires are fine, 
the seat belts and the line it's all work fine so hopefully it should be okay oh we're also getting the air conditioning um topped up in the car because we haven't had air conditioning in the car for about three years now and every summer we say is it raining again oh it's hailing outside every summer we say we're going to get the air conditioning sorted out and then we never get around to doing it windows open windows open upstairs and it's hailing we also need to get the wash on i don't think i'll need to top the water up because i did it yesterday Although if we do a wash, it might be worth just topping it up anyway. No, I just do it tomorrow. Yeah, I could do it tomorrow, I suppose. Gonna have some lunch anyway. Um, I'm not sure what to have. I can never decide what to have at the weekends. I might just have a Marmite sandwich or something. Maybe. That could work. So I've just arrived at the pet shop. Need to go inside, get Digby a few bits. Um, I'm wearing my new sunglasses that arrived in the post today, though. They're actually made by a company called Bambuka, which I had never heard of in my life before about six days ago. Um, but basically I was looking for a new pair of sunglasses this year because my old sunglasses had broken. Whenever I buy anything, I always try to make a conscious effort to make sure that it's ethical or sustainable. Basically, I just want to be a better human being, really. Um, so. I was in the market for a pair of sunglasses anyway and I came across this company called Bambuka um, and these sunglasses they're actually made from bamboo uh, which is pretty cool I've also got some other things that are made from bamboo including my t-shirts and my new trousers that I got a couple of weeks ago um, but the best thing about Bambuka isn't the fact that they're made from bamboo but the company itself is a non-profit and all of the profits that they do make go towards helping people in Africa to have eye tests and to get glasses and that kind of thing um, which I think was really cool and they did cost £60 to buy um, which I guess is kind of expensive for a pair of sunglasses but personally I think that if I can get a good quality product that's made from natural materials and I'm also making a difference to people who need it most um, that sits really well with me and I also think they look pretty cool as well there's a couple of designs they've got on there um, and if you guys are in the market for a new pair of sunglasses this year then definitely go and check out Bambuka. They've got a whole um, mission statement on there which is really cool and if you do decide to buy a pair then yeah you're doing a good thing. I also want to say that this isn't sponsored, they're not paying me, they didn't send me these sunglasses or anything. I just think that they're a really great company doing great things and yeah big shout out to Bambuka. Alright I'm at the garage Gonna get the MOT done. Hopefully we pass. And then we'll be good for another year. There's nobody in here. Apart from me. <laughs> We're all good. Past the MOT. Two advisories. Need two new front tires um, at some point in the near future. They're getting a bit low. Other than that, it's all good. New windscreen wipers, because the old ones weren't very good and used to smudge the rain um, and also air conditioning has been done haven't tested it yet but we haven't had air conditioning in this car for like three years let's put it on cold see what happens see if it gets cold oh oh my god oh my god it's so cold you have no idea how cold that is oh Oh, I've got to turn that off. Freezing. Turn the aircon off. Time to go home. That took an hour and 45 minutes. It was 45 minutes for the MOT and then he had to take it back in do the air conditioning and the wipers. So yeah, it's nearly half past four. I think Becky's going to start doing dinner, if not already. My phone's like dead battery. Um, but yeah, all good. Nothing major wrong with the car. So let's go home. I got Digby a little treat in the pet shop. Got my burger. Let's get all this in. Dig! Hey! I got a treat! Ah. Oh my god, look at his hair! <laughs> What's this? What's this? Oh my god, I'm a burger! <laughs> it's a burger! You want a burger? Do you want the burger? Do you want the burger? Go again. You go get the burger. burger and the broccoli. <laughs>
I saw it and I was just like, I'm getting him a burger. Why? I don't know. I just wanted to get him a treat. <gasps> oh. Is it your burger? I don't think it's going to last very long. That's fine. It was only two pounds. Oh. oh, burger! I think he likes it. <laughs> Look at this absolute delight that Becky's made me. We've got a lovely pasta puttanesca, capers, olives, that kind of stuff. What else is in it? Onions, garlic, things Tomatoes. like that. Tomatoes. I think pasta may be one of my favourite things ever. I think pasta... It's one of the most oh, staple foods. Pasta is just like the best ever. Yeah. We eat quite a lot of pasta. Plus the gluten-free <laughs> pasta is pretty good. Big <laughs> That window open. Anyway, that's probably going to do it for this week. I feel like all of a sudden it's Saturday and like we make a video and then it's like the end of the video and then I don't know, just like the time seems to be going so fast at the moment. I don't know if it's because our lives are just on repeat and to be fair, just going out to do the MOT in the car and going to the pet shop, I felt like I had like a day out, like it was really weird. I was driving home and I was just like, oh, I feel like I've done something today. Rather than just kind of like sit at home. Yeah, so that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed our lovely video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Um, once again, next weekend, I don't know what we're doing, but we'll catch you guys then. So until then, safe drive, stay alive, have a lovely day. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Um, and yeah, we'll catch you later. Right. I hope this dog in a tuxedo. Ha <laughs> <laughs>